Jason and David, two members of the Capilano Blues men's basketball team. David, I want to start with you, part of this PacWest Spotlight. Last year, you were part of this team that went to nationals. Does that experience still stick out in your mind last year? Do you remember a lot of that? Oh, yeah, definitely. That's definitely the highlight of my basketball career so far. Um, just looking forward to do it again this year. When you talk to some of the guys, especially the new Blues, about last year, do they get motivated? Do they ex get excited that you were there last year and you have another chance to get there this year? Oh, yeah, definitely. I believe everybody's on the same page that Nationals is where we want to be. Yeah. Jason, you're new to this team. You know kind of the history, the story of the Nationals last year. Does that fuel some hunger that you want to do well this year? Of course it does. It makes us hungry every, every day. Yeah. Like, we work so hard every day in practice, just going hard, making sure that we're pushing each other, coming together as a family. That's the most important thing, just staying together as one and just going to our goal. Well said. When you wanted to join or looking at schools to go to, you knew Capilano was at Nationals last year. Was that part of the driving force? Yeah, it was part of it. I know they're a winning team coming from Coach TJ and Coach uh, Semin. Yeah, we're in good hands for yeah. the season, yes. Now, David, you don't have CJ. You don't have Tyrone from last year. Is it weird looking up and down the roster sometimes and not seeing those familiar faces? I mean, it's a little bit weird, but you know what? That just uh, makes way for people to step up. And I think the guys we have on this team are ready to do that. So, yeah, they're gone. They're my guys. I miss them, but I think we're on go mode with the guys we got now. So I'm looking forward to it. Now, one of the reasons we're talking to you guys, you're both banged up a little bit. First start with your injury. Or how are you doing? When are you expected back? Uh, I'm trying to come back this next week, but it's looking like the week after might be when I come back. So. You got the holidays. You can yeah, rack. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Jason, how about you? When are you expected back? Uh, after Christmas. Okay. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about you because we haven't seen you much on the Pac West floor before. What kind of player are you? What, how do you explain your game? Uh, I'm an attack first guard. Uh, just looking to create for me and my team. Just being a dog and a pest on defense also. Is it difficult sitting on the sideline not being able to contribute? Oh, yeah, it is difficult. <laughs> I really want to play. Like, even like when my team just makes little mistakes, I just try to tell the guys, like, just keep your head up, even though I can't be out there to like fix up for them. But I trust them. Yeah. So. David, do you become a coach on the sideline or on the bench when you're injured and you can't really get in there? Do you, you feel like you want to coach guys? Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, I definitely speak a little bit of wisdom to these guys. Uh, I guess I'm a little bit of a vet, been playing basketball for a little bit, and I've, I've been in these kind of situations for a while. So, so yeah, like you said, um, it's got to take it play by play. If you mess up, just on to the next one. So it's got to implement that in their minds and whatnot. Well, guys, thanks for doing this. Speedy recovery, and we'll hope to see you on the floor soon.